What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Casey and today we are taking a look at the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Configurator and I'm going to show you five things that you may not have noticed yet. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. If you like Jeep vlogs, reviews, installs, and news, you will love this channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer all of them. And make sure that you have those notifications turned on. When I hit 500 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. And again, I'm going to do another giveaway at 1000. I will announce what that will be when we hit 750. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. With that said, let's take a look at this configurator. Number one, paint options. While looking through all the available paint options, I noticed that there are no colors that are exclusive to any trim levels in the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. All the colors are available on the Sport, Sport S, Overland, and Rubicon. However, the famous red dash insert from the JL Rubicon is once again available only on the Rubicon Edition. There is, however, some new colors and some colors not available that we had seen previously on the JL Wrangler. Hella Yellow and Mojito Green will not be available on Gladiator as those are 2019 exclusive JL colors. However, we do have a few new colors available on the Gladiator. First, the blue is now called Hydro Blue and is much lighter than what we had seen in 2019 on the JL. Additionally, there are two brand new colors, Gator and Gobi. If you want to match your fenders and roof to your body paint color, those are only going to be available on the Overland and Rubicon models. Number two, towing. All new on the Gladiator, there is a trailer brake controller available. This will be necessary with the increased towing capacity that the new Gladiator has. The towing package also adds a high amperage 240 amp alternator and trailer hitch zoom to the rear view camera, which will provide a four times zoom mode that can be toggled on to aid in aligning up a trailer to the Gladiator's towing hitch. If you select an Overland or Rubicon model, you will notice that the towing capacity is reduced from 7,650 pounds to 7,000 pounds. However, the configurator does not mention that this will be further reduced if you had selected a manual transmission. Number three, enhanced adaptive cruise control. I noticed a brand new feature that is available and that is the new Mopar enhanced adaptive cruise control. This will add a module to the front window right behind the rear view mirror and will give the Gladiator not only the ability to adjust speed and follow distance when enabled, but the enhanced feature gives the Gladiator the ability to come to a full stop using cruise control and then resume the speed to the set follow distance. The standard adaptive cruise control required a minimum of 25 miles per hour to be active and would disable if you drop below that speed. Number four, Rubicon model exclusive options. There are several options that will be available on the Gladiator Rubicon and not other models. Leather seats and winch capable steel bumpers will be available on both the Rubicon and Overland model, but options like 410 axle gearing, the new front facing trail camera, and 33 inch tires are gonna be exclusive configuration options to the Rubicon only and not available on other models. Number five, window cranks on the Sport model. Yes, that is right. On the base level Sport model with no additional options, Jeep is still including cranking windows on the 2020 Gladiator. Hopefully, this is to create a no frill addition with the lowest possible price, but I do not expect to see too many orders with this option selected. Anyways guys, that is five interesting things that I noticed in the new 2020 Jeep Gladiator configurator that I want to share with you. As always, I enjoyed making this video for you and I hope you found it helpful and informative. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy Jeep and off-road related content. I really do like making all these videos for you guys and answer any of the questions or comments that you leave down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video Otherwise, I will see you guys shortly in the next upload. Thanks so much for watching.